I was trolling the web. You can take that as if I was either uh, trolling people on the internet or I was trolling in the literal definition and ran across a video by Dr. Ford Brewer on an at-home test to find out if you have plaque in your arteries. I thought that the video was so interesting and so simple that it seemed like something that I should share with you here. But in addition to showing you how to do the test, I'd like to also discuss how sensitive and accurate this test really is, according to the science at hand. But actually, let me first uh, finish up uh, this comment real quick. It should just uh, take a second. This should also really rile them up. Okay. Uh, the test is called an ankle brachial index test. It's super simple, but what's especially nice about it is that it has high degree of specificity, meaning it can detect people with or without a disease state, in this case, significant plaque buildup. According to this review, the researchers point out ABI, ankle brachial index, has 98% specificity as well as around 90% sensitivity. This is pretty great, but there are two caveats because that's only true if a person has 50% or greater blockage. These numbers are likely lower if a person is trying to detect small amounts of plaque formation. In addition, those numbers are based on experts doing the test on you. And that same review mentions that people with diabetes tend to have lower specificity as well. Okay, I'm pointing these things out because while this test is easy, it shouldn't be used as a one-stop shop for diagnosis. Your physician should still be involved overall. Even uh, Dr. Brewer, who is a physician and taught preventative medicine for decades, offers his own warnings. Just a word of caution. If you already have been diagnosed with deep venous thrombosis or DVT, or if you have severe leg pain, in that case, skip this test. That all said, let's get into the test because it still has wonderful application, especially in detecting the extremes. But how does this test give us any information on the state of your arteries? Well, it's an indirect test of the resistance occurring in your arteries. If your artery is completely open, there's little resistance to the blood flow pumping through the blood vessel, the artery. However, as plaque builds up, the blood flow goes through smaller openings, thereby creating resistance. Now, the reason ABI is probably not as effective when there's a little bit of plaque is because the increased resistance is likely small and can't be detected effectively. On the other hand, it can pick up large increases in vascular resistance as it translates to blood pressure. Okay, now that we've discussed some of the physiology and the specifics, let's get into the test tutorial itself. So Dr. Brewer has a great tutorial that I'll show you, and then we'll discuss uh, what this all means. Also, Dr. Brewer's full video is linked in the description if you'd like to watch more than uh, this clip. Here's Dr. Brewer's explanation. I've got my blood pressure cuff, I've got a pen and paper, and I've labeled it left arm and ankle, right arm and ankle. I've got a couch to lay down on, and I've got an iPhone to diddle around with while I'm resting. So Jesus wants to make sure that I rest first. Really quick interjection, this is an important part. It might not seem like it, but uh, this will make a big difference on your values. So be sure to rest for five minutes and don't go reading any troll comments because that'll get your blood pressure up. Also, this probably shouldn't be done after you've consumed a stimulant like caffeine. Okay, back to Dr. Brewer. We wanna get this up next to the, my artery, which is going through here. And so that needed to be undone. We want to pull it around smooth. I mean, firm, but not too tight. Not really tight. Then we press the button. Okay, 
107 over 69. Right arm. One oh seven over sixteen nine. Okay. Take this off. Put it on my right leg. I was clearing uh clearing thorns in a nearby woods last a couple of weeks ago. That's why I've got all these scratches on my legs. I don't know why that didn't do that the first time we did this. The arteries going up through here. So that's where we want to put the air bladder. Oh, wait a minute. I have to wait for a minute for Dr. Vega. Jesus is requiring a lot of footage here. He's always requiring a lot. Can't really tell how it's doing yet. I know I have to this nervous. And that is going to be That's it. Okay, those are the raw numbers. You have a top number and a bottom number. Those correspond to the pressure applied to your cardiovascular system. The top number is the systolic blood pressure and speaks to the pressure exerted when your heart muscle is contracting. The bottom number is your diastolic blood pressure or the pressure at its lowest point when the heart muscle is relaxed. You'll have eight total numbers in front of you corresponding to four limbs. I'll make this simple for you. Just ignore the diastolic numbers. So for example, if your left arm blood pressure is 126 over 72, your left ankle blood pressure is 128 over 74, your right arm blood pressure is 130 over 78, and your right ankle number is 124 over 76, just cross out the 72, 74, 78, and 76. They don't matter for this test. They're all your diastolic pressure numbers. Now, you'll take your highest systolic number from your two ankle measurements and divide it by the highest systolic number from your arms. So in our example, 128 is the highest ankle number and 130 is the highest arm number. So we take 128 and divide it by 130. That yields a 0.98 as the result. Now, we use a simple chart to evaluate what that means. If your value is 0.6 to 0.89, there is the possibility for plaque buildup in your arteries. And a value below 0.6 indicates a high likelihood for plaque buildup in your arteries. Let's discuss what this means in actionable terms. By the way, there's a similar, more sensitive test that can also offer information on plaque in the arteries, but it requires a bit more planning, even if it's also easy to run. I have a step-by-step -step guide that I've released on how to do it. It's included with the uh, Physionic Insiders if you're so interested. You can find it in the description. The Physionic Insiders also comes with a ton of videos and templates on improving your cardiovascular health, not to mention the podcast, private community, and more. So check it out below. Now. In terms of what to do in an immediate sense, according to Stanford University's medical department, values between 0.9 and 1.4 are fine. But beginning between 0.8 and 0.89, there should be a focus on reducing risks of cardiovascular disease like blood pressure, cholesterol-containing lipoproteins, weight, insulin resistance, and so on. 
That can be achieved through nutrition, carefully planned exercise, and if need be, other interventions like many that I've discussed across Physionic before. Then anything below 0.8 requires more serious looks, so which will definitely include a physician and confirmation testing as well. But assuming that you're in the borderline camp, I also have content on what evidence there is for reversing plaque in your arteries, which you can find right here. I'll see you over there.